Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a Q&A because a lot of people have asked me to do a Q&A. So I decided I'm going to do a Q&A. Some of them's teen pregnancy related, some of them aren't. So let's get into it. So the first one is what I want to do when I'm older. So when I'm older, I don't actually know yet. I've been stuck on this for ages. Um, I don't know if I want to try like go into YouTube or I don't know. Um, so I've actually not got a clue on that yet. Um, another question is what was life like before having Ivy? And to be honest, I can't re can't really remember like at all. Um, because it seems like so weird to think about not having Ivy and what life would be like without Ivy. I guess I had a lot of sleep <laughs> without Ivy. That's mm. what yeah. <laughs> One thing is that we had a lot of sleep. Um, life wasn't as stressful, but I think life before Ivy weren't, it weren't the best, was it? Um, it was pretty shitty. Just, we, I, me and Jake was both at quite a low place. Obviously me and Jake was together for seven months before I fell pregnant with Ivy. Um, so yeah, it was, it was okay. We had a lot more freedom than we do now, but obviously that was just part of becoming a parent. Um, do I have plan on having another baby? I want another baby, but someone doesn't want another baby no. at all. No. So it's going to take a lot of convincing for in the future to, for us to have another baby. But I desperately want to move out, get our own place, have enough money where we're financially comfortable and stable. I do want another baby, but Jake's just not so keen on having another baby. Do I plan on moving house with Jake? Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to move. <laughs> I want to move house with Jake and Ivy probably around nineteen, around age nineteen. Um, I do have another question: Is when did I move into my own house? Which I am currently not in my own house. Um, I did move house with my mum six months ago in December, January, February, March, April. Yeah. We've lived in this house for six months now, um, but I have not moved into my own house yet. And I do want to move into like my own house with Jake and with Ivy, but it's when we're old enough, when we've got enough money, and I don't know if it'll be like a flat or a house or what we're sort of looking for there. How do I manage school with Ivy? Um, it's hard. It is really hard, but I do get a lot of help from Jake. Like he's, he goes to his mum's and takes Ivy, which gives me a chance to um, have a bath as well as get some revision done, especially now I've got my GCSEs. It's harder now I've got my GCSEs because obviously I have to be in school whether I'm ill or not. Like when I was doing my English literature exam, I come down with a really bad migraine. I didn't even get to finish like the last question, which was 25 marks. So I think I'm failing that. I've kind of come to terms with it. It wasn't my fault. I literally could not see what I was writing. I couldn't think. I was in agony. So I've come to terms that I'm, I'm not going to get a pass on that. <laughs> um, but it is hard. And I think it just takes a lot of like mental ability to be able to cope with having a one-year-old and being in school. Because when Jake was doing his GCSEs, he had a one day old. <laughs> Ivy actually come the day before his GCSE started. And um, what was that like, Jake? You don't know. Uh, he probably can't remember it was over a year ago. Just same with a newborn baby. No, I think it was easier with a newborn than it is a one year old. Because if anything, we... Well, when Jake was doing his GCSEs with Ivy, he actually never stayed at mine. Um, because I always said, you know, your GCSEs are important. So we only stayed on the weekends, so it would have been um, easier, but still stressful because obviously he had a newborn. Um, how did pregnancy affect my relationship with my parents? For a while, with my mum, things weren't good after I found out, after I told her I was pregnant. But before this, me and my mum had like a really bad relationship we never got on do you remember me mum used to always argue we never got on and after becoming pregnant and she'd come to terms with it and i told her i was keeping the baby we got really close and we're now we are we are really close we're the closest we've ever been um with my dad pregnancy 
um it's it's a difficult one because i don't have a relationship with him anymore but i tried a lot with him whilst i was pregnant and after i had ivy but it just never got i don't know what to say about my dad because it's like it didn't really affect anything because we never really had a relationship what advice would i give for teens becoming parents um it's hard it's not easy and it's not something like you look on my page and it seems easy and to be honest with you it's easier than i thought i will say that it is easier than i thought i thought being a teen mum was gonna be awful it's easier than i thought and it did change my life around for the better and i'd never take it back but it is also hard it's very frustrating i've not slept well for like a year and a half now because obviously when you're pregnant you don't sleep well and then after that sleep's just out the window ivy's one and she's still waking up at three in the morning one in the morning five in the morning um so it's hard with the sleep you don't see your friends i'm gonna be honest with you friends don't really care after you've had a baby <laughs> they care for a bit whilst they're in your bum then after that you don't get asked to go anywhere you don't yeah you don't get bothered with um school's hard you do get a lot of judgment like a lot of judgment you go out you get dirty looks especially on my tiktok i get a lot of judgment on there i've been told to kill myself i've been told to kill my baby i've been jake's been told to kill himself Oi. <laughs> you do get a lot of hate right. for deciding to keep in your for deciding to keep your child but at the end of the day you've got your baby um, was there any other names for Ivy? So we had quite a few, didn't we? What? Names that we was going to pick. So the first one was, <laughs> oh, it goes through me, Ember Rose. We considered Sienna, and I love the name Sienna. That was, if we didn't call her Ivy, we would have called her thing Sienna, wouldn't we? Sienna. Sienna is just such a beautiful name, and I think it actually does suit her. So I think Ivy suits her a little bit more. But Sienna, a beautiful name. What other ones were there? We had Sienna, Ember Rose. What was the other one we had? There was another one. I can't remember. Has it been hard supporting a child financially? Definitely. Um, it weren't as much as a struggle as I thought. Like, but nursery. Oh, how ridiculous are the prices? They're, they're just they're stupid. If we're sending them in nursery for two days, it's nearly £100 a week. So it is... Cheaper. That is the cheapest nursery here. That in That is very considered very cheap, but it's still very expensive, especially when you're still in school. Um, TikTok has helped a lot. And obviously Jake's job, he's on quite good money for his age. He's on good money, so that's helped. So at the minute, we're, we're, um, we've got a nursery savings account and we are what nearly a 500 pound in that which is really good that covers like over a month so supporting the child financially isn't too bad um but i think we've just got lucky with the job that jake's got because you did get very lucky with that didn't you um and we've got lucky that i have become popular on tiktok which means that i do get paid so it's just lucky situations but i think if i weren't to do tiktok and jake wasn't to have the job he did and he was to go for the one of the first jobs he saw we would be struggling quite a bit my back's killing more children i've just covered this jake doesn't want any more kids i do <laughs> i only want one more i don't want three i just want two babies do did family have any other opinions about keeping ivy um so my mum didn't want me to keep ivy my dad said that it was my choice um neither of jake's parents wanted us to keep ivy other than that there was no other opinions because I'm, I'm not really close my mum's mum and dad i've never met them my dad's mum and dad i didn't see them my whole pregnancy so it was like it was literally only my mum and dad and jake's parents that really had an opinion about that um favorite color my favorite color is blue what's your favorite color jake it used to be purple but i don't know Mine used to be purple, but I've become obsessed with baby blue or baby pink. I love the colour pink at the minute. How far along was I when I gave birth? I was 36 weeks and 5 days when I gave birth. She called three weeks, two days early. 
so I actually wanted to go on the birthing centre which is like where you've got a double bed, you've got a birthing pool, you've got bouncing balls, you can have music, you've got projector there, so many really nice things but because I was two days off being full term, um, I weren't allowed that which I was absolutely gutted about. <laughs> How long did I wait to go to school after giving birth? I went, so when I was in school, when I was pregnant in school, I left when I was 35 weeks. I gave birth at 36 weeks. But after I left school, I still did homeschooling. So I did it twice a week on a Monday. No, three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I did homeschooling. And on the Monday I give birth, when I was meant to do my homeschooling, I give birth on that day. And then the week after, on the Monday, I did homeschooling again because my birth just went really smoothly. So um, I was perfectly fine to do homeschooling. It was my choice. I actually was allowed about three months off homeschooling, full stop, and school. But I decided to do homeschooling a week after birth. And going actually back to school, I did was four months. June, July, August, September, yeah. Ivy was four months, the computer was just, there we go. Ivy was four months when I went actually into school, uh, but I did on the go one a day, uh, once a week. Was I going to keep Ivy if I got kicked out? If I had gotten kicked out, probably not, because I literally wouldn't have anywhere to live. Maybe I could have gone to my sister's for a bit until I figured out what to do. But if my mum had decided to kick me out, then I probably would have been able to physically and mentally to be able to keep this baby. So probably not. How do we survive without arguing around Ivy? It's hard because obviously, because we're still so young, it, even if we weren't so young, relationships have arguments. Um, that's just bound to happen. If you don't have an arguments in your relationship, your relationship something along is going wrong because arguments are just something that is going to happen if you're in a relationship so not arguing around ivy is hard um we do bicker but we try to keep it to ourselves and we do say to each other just give us time like give me five minutes and i'll speak to you give me 10 minutes and i'll speak to you or whatever um i we don't like arguing in front of Ivy, but I think that's just parents. You, you never want to argue in front of your kids. You don't want your kids to see that. So, or if we do argue, we will tell each other, like, Ivy, you hear. Which is something we say a lot when we argue. That's all the questions I have for you. My back is in agony because after I was pregnant, Ivy ruined my back for me. So if I sit for too long in this position or I stand for too long, I just get in absolute agony. So I'm going to end the video here. But um, thank you so much for all your questions. If you have any more, comment them down below. And if I've got a long enough list, then I'll do another video of Q&A. But um, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And we'll see you another time.